Hi guys, Leah Ashley here from The Fab Life, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make something fun and beautiful and very useful for your kitchen. If you guys like to cook, you probably use fresh herbs, but they can be kind of tricky because they're not always readily available in the kitchen. So today we are going to make an herb wall out of this really cool old board, and it's only going to take five steps, so we're going to call this Fab in Five. We're gonna need mason jars, about 10 inches. We also have pipe clamps, nails, a hammer, a Phillips head screwdriver, chalkboard paint, brushes, painter's tape, and then the fun part, the herbs. So you wanna get your favorite herbs, and then we're gonna get some soil and some gravel. I know this looks like a lot of stuff, guys, but don't worry, it's not gonna be difficult. So the very first thing we're gonna do is get our spacing right. And I'm also gonna put these on a little bit of a tilt because when our herbs are actually in the jars, we want them to stick up and not out. So I have two kinds of painter's tape here. I have a thick tape and then I have a thinner tape. This thick tape is gonna go right somewhere around the bottom of my board. And this is gonna be the chalkboard part where I'm gonna write the name of the herb. Now I'm gonna take this thinner piece of tape and I'm gonna put it right next to the blue line and that's gonna be my marker. All right, we have our stencil laid out for our chalkboard paint. Right here. And now it's time to paint. I'm just gonna paint the chalkboard paint right in between these green lines. I'm using a sponge instead of a regular paintbrush because it's easier to control. So now that our paint is dry, we're gonna remove the tape to reveal our fabulous chalkboard lines. Now that I have our mason jars perfectly placed and I have a pretty good idea of where they're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off the board and we are gonna focus on attaching this one to the board with our pipe clamp. So I've got my mason jar in place, and we're just gonna kinda see how we want it to go. And we're gonna take one of our little nails and put it right through one of these little holes. Now that we have our first nail in place, I'm gonna nail another nail around the same area just to really secure it. With one nail, this moves. So we wanna get it in place so that it's on an angle, that looks about right. And we're gonna nail this baby in so it doesn't move. We have all of our pipe clamps nailed in and ready to go, so now all we have to do is fill our herbs. We're gonna take our first mason jar, and the very first step is we're going to put some of this gravel at the bottom. It's gonna go underneath the soil so that when you water it, the water goes through the soil and drains out in here, and that helps keep your herbs alive. Next comes the soil. You can use a shovel or you can use your hands. I like to use my hands. Your herb is gonna have dirt in it as well, so you don't wanna fill up your mason jar to the top with soil. We won't need to do that. So let's start with our basil. I'm gonna go ahead and actually separate this in half so that it's easier to go into the jar because the neck is kind of skinny. All right. This guy's ready to go. We have got all of our jars filled and we are ready to put them on our herb wall. So we'll start with this one, the Thai basil. And you can just go right on in from the bottom and then we're just gonna screw it down. All right, they are all screwed in and secure. So now the last step is to label them with chalk. The great thing about using chalk and chalkboard paint is when you switch out the herbs, you can easily switch out the names. Well, what do you guys think? I think this is so cute, and not only is it cute, it was so easy. Now you might be wondering how to water it. So it's very easy. All you need is a spout that's kind of long like this. Just goes right in to the herbs. For more great tips, watch Fab Life weekdays 7.30.